So going by the analytics on the last two videos, it really seems like you really enjoy the reliable luxury car segment. So here's another one. Many of you guys requested that I create one for under $20,000, so that's exactly what I did. And just like the last video, I included two European cars to diversify the list, so make sure and watch to the end. And if you don't agree with me, well, you know what to do. What's up everybody, if you're new here, I'm Christian and this is Vehicle Virals. If you guys end up liking the video, make sure to subscribe for more automotive content. Now, let's get started. The first car is a 2013 GS350. When this car first came out, it was the first to show off the new direction Lexus was taking, transitioning from a soft, cushy, comfort-based ride to more of a sporty feel with a stiffer suspension. The GS proved at the time that it can make sporty and fun cars without having to sacrifice luxury. The exterior features LFA-inspired curves and features a front end that some might find it too angled but personally i dig it moving on to the interior you won't be disappointed especially since you don't need to look for a fully loaded one as this car came with tons of impressive standard features such as a standard rear view camera a sunroof dual zone automatic climate control 10-way adjustable power front seats satellite radio hd radio aux and usb ports a 12 speaker audio system and a 8 inch infotainment display you also get three drive modes eco normal and sport but let's be honest we really only care about the sport mode allowing you to unlock the true potential of the GS350's power. Talking about power, the GS350 comes equipped with a 3.5 liter V6 engine that produces 306 horsepower and 277 pound feet of torque. Plenty of power to push your 0 to 60 in just 5.7 seconds. Oh, and get this, it's a rear wheel drive car. You know what that means. Fun, fun, fun. While this car only carries a V6 engine, you get quite a satisfying sound from the GS350 thanks to an intake sound generator that can arguably make a sound like a V8. Sound of a V8 and the gas mileage of a V6. 19 miles per gallon city and 28 miles per gallon highway. I also want to point out that you can get an equally as reliable 2015 Lexus ES350 for under $20,000. My question to you is, would you get a slightly older GS350 with more features or a slightly newer ES350 with less features? You can find a GS350 for just under $20,000 with less than 40,000 miles on it. The next car is a 2014 Acura TL. While most people don't really believe that Acura TL should be considered a luxury vehicle due to its Honda Accord roots, well, I just want to say this, you're wrong. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't say it's the most luxurious car out there, but in my opinion, it's enough to be considered an entry-level luxury car. Let's have a discussion down below in the comment section. Tell me if you think the Acura TL should be considered a luxury car, and if so, why? Looking at the exterior, it definitely has some class to it, and the one thing that sticks out is the controversial beak-like grille, which looks much better than it did before the mid-cycle refresh. It's obviously a big car outside, which translates with plenty of room inside. In the cabin, you get well-padded, comfortable heated seats and plenty of leg and headroom, making it a good choice for those that routinely drive with other people. The back seats feature back headrests that fold down to increase visibility. If you've ever wanted to drive a plane, well, you're in luck. The center console features so many buttons that it'll sure make you feel like you're in one. Some people might find it too cluttered and some might find it okay. As far as practicality, the trunk space is, well, laughable. Moving on to performance, the TL comes equipped with a 3.5 liter V6 engine that produces 280 horsepower and 254 pound feet of torque, and it gets you 20 miles per gallon city and 29 miles per gallon highway. If you manage to get the super handling all wheel drive full fledged sport version, you'll get a 3.7 liter V6 that produces 305 horsepower, which will get you slightly less gas mileage. If you want a car that's reliable, comfortable, and does well in crash tests, then the Acura TL might be a good pick for you. you can can find them for as low as $15,000 with less than 60,000 miles on them. Third car on the list is a 2014 to 2016 Lincoln MKS. This car is an affordable way to slip into a large luxury sedan. Before the Continental came out, this was Lincoln's largest and most luxurious sedan. It's wrapped in a fancier package than its sibling, the Ford Taurus. The exterior looks modern, especially when it comes to the rear, and of course, a big luxury sedan needs a big luxury grille. And to be quite honest, it doesn't get much bigger than this. You also get 19-inch aluminum wheels that come standard. Probably the best feature of the MKS is the roominess and the practicality. You get a spacious rear seat big enough to accommodate people of all body dimensions, and a massive trunk too, 19.2 cubic feet of space to be exact. You also get some killer standard features like heated and cooled seats, Lincoln's drive control which provides adjustable settings for the suspension, steering, and the powertrain, active noise cancellation that results in a quiet ride, adaptive HID hand lamps, rear parking sensors, automatic climate control, and a keypad entry system. You remember those? 
While many might reject the choice of owning a Lincoln, you gotta admit, you get a solid bang for the buck when it comes to all the features. It's also not a slouch when it comes to the performance department. You get a 3.7 liter engine that produces 304 horsepower and 279 pound-feet of torque. There's also a slightly more powerful EcoBoost engine variant also available. With the standard engine, you get 17 miles per gallon city and 24 miles per gallon highway. You also get a continuously controlled damping system that reacts to changes in the road while you're driving. And the best part about the MKS is that you can get yourself one for as low as $16,000 with less than 50,000 miles on it. Next car is a 2013 BMW 135i. Wait a second Christian, did you really just include a BMW on a reliable car list? Why yes. Yes, I did. If you all didn't know, this is one of BMW's most reliable cars. According to consumer reports based on a three-year study, the BMW 1 Series scored five stars in the reliability category. Mind blown. This is a car for those that want a luxury vehicle that you can have fun with. The 135i takes the driving experience seriously. With its nearly perfect 50-50 weight distribution and the option of a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission or a stick shift, this is a car that can be tossed around very easily. Looks aren't mind blown by any means, but what you do get is simplicity and straightforward in a small package. The same goes for the interior, very simple. It offers everything you need and nothing you don't. The back seats, well, they're there. Adults trying to sit back there will have a tantrum and kids would love the rush. Talking about a rush, the 135i comes equipped with an inline six that produces 300 horsepower and 300 pound-feet of torque and can do a zero to 60 in just 4.7 seconds, making it the fastest car on this list. You get great fuel efficiency as well, 20 miles per gallon city and 28 miles per gallon highway. You honestly can't go wrong with this car. It's back to basics BMW performance-wise. It's a reminder of the time when the brand was more about the driving experience than luxury upgrades. No adjustable suspensions, no eye drive control, it doesn't need a button to tell it when to be sporty. It's crazy because most German cars focus too much on electronics and the future of the driveless technology. With cars such as the BMW 135i, you get an honest and connected driving experience. That said, rant over. As far as pricing goes, you can get a 135i for as low as $17,000 with less than 40,000 miles on it. Just remember to properly maintain and service it. Parts and repairs aren't cheap. Fifth and final car on the list is the 2013 Mercedes-Benz E350. This is a car that offers diversity for all people. It comes available in a sedan, a coupe, convertible, and even a wagon. But who am I kidding? Nobody in the US buys wagons anyways. The E-Class has long been a benchmark for luxury vehicles, and the E-Class has always led the rest of the Mercedes lineup when it comes to reliability. Both JD Power and Consumer Reports have given this model very high scores. If that's not enough to convince you, I mean, why else do you think this car is used as taxis in Germany? You get a good blend of comfort, performance, and of course, luxury. Nothing like sitting on the driver's seat looking over the hood at the three-pointed star. Some key features include adjustable suspension settings and something called the tension assist system, which determines whether the driver is getting drowsy and behind the wheel and uses both visual and auditory warnings to tell the driver to pull over and rest. You might also notice that the shifter is on the steering column, leaving room for more important things on the center console. When it comes to performance, the E350 comes equipped with a 3.5 liter V6 engine that produces 302 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque. And surprisingly, you get decent gas mileage. 20 miles per gallon in the city and 30 miles per gallon in the highway, you can get an E350 for just under $18,000 with less than 60,000 miles on it. Just remember, take really good care of it if you end up getting a Mercedes. Just like the BMWs, repairs aren't cheap. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like it. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe for more automotive content. So what did you think of the list? What car would you have added? Make sure and comment below, let me know. Like always, thanks for watching. Till next time.